Yo, what is up, Royalty family, man? What is up, guys? This is your boy, Prince Mason, and welcome back to another video. Your boy went to roll loud. Man, it was lit. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the best things that I liked at Rolling Loud, things that I didn't really like, and then some recommendations about what they could do better and what to expect next time. So without further ado, let's get into the intro. Let's get it, yeah. <laughs> So first things first, I want to talk about like what I really liked first and then go into like what I dislike. So um, number one, like the top thing that I really liked about being at Rolling Loud was the whole like experience. Like being there and being a part of something that was so dope and all those people just got together to enjoy hip hop and like just vibe out. I thought that was like super dope and I've never gone to anything like that. Like I've never gone to Rolling Loud. I've never gone to Coachella. I've never gone to anything like that or any type of music festival like that. So for me to see all those people there was just super dope. And like, I just love the vibe of, of being around people who enjoy music like me. So that's number one. Number two is the lineup. Like the lineup for the last one loud that we just had was crazy. I mean, there was 21 Savage, there was Cardi B, there was DMX, there was Lil Pump. Like there was Kevin Gates, like the list just goes on and on and on and on. And like for me to see all those artists in the same place, in the same city, like all there for the same purpose, like when are you ever gonna get that again? You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just like really wanted to go because that lineup looked crazy and I had a great time. So that's definitely like number two on my list, the things that I like that everyone love. Number three is the food and the drinks. All right, so we're gonna get in the drinks. Like, I'm gonna talk about it more a little bit later. Um, but the good side of it was that they were hitting. Like, you just get one drink and you were good for like most of the time that you're there because the alcohol content was really, really good at Rolling Loud. And the food, they had so much food there, man. Like, they had like little booths of just different, like chicken and hot dogs and burgers and rice and beans and oxtails. Like, it was crazy. It was so good. And that kind of made the overall trip like just come together because <laughs> I love to eat. So that was a big reason why I put this on my list. So to make this list kind of short, I'm gonna put like one more on here. Um, one thing that I really, really, really enjoyed was like the visuals of the actual performances, like the sound, the lighting, everything was just spot on. And for me, I was just like blown away. Travis Scott came out with like fire going up and like he's like running across the stage and like it was just a good time and just watching all that stuff and like the stages how they had it set up was just like bro we're really at a concert like it's not like some like club concert like it was really dope and I really enjoyed it all right so let's get into it the top dislikes of Rolling Loud 2019 all right so for me man like I said earlier like I talked about the foods and the drinks, but for me, it was the drinks. I guess I can throw on this list. Um, they had something called like a beatbox. It's like this like little juice thing like this. And they had it for 15 bucks. As y'all can see, it's $3.99. Like they were charging people so much. They were making so much profit off of these. And they're good, don't get me wrong. Like they were hitting like, I mean, the alcohol content was like higher or about the same as a Four loco but they tasted so much better okay so it was kind of like a hate don't hate kind of thing um but the 15 bucks was definitely taxing for something that was like four bucks now one of the biggest issues that i had rolling loud like i said i've never been to any kind of music festival or like anything like that so for me everything that i experienced was brand new okay um and one of the hardest things that i had to like go through and not even me like everyone that came on the trip with us all the homies like our feet were killing us from people had on nikes vans um like slides bro it didn't matter because you're standing for six seven eight hours with nowhere to sit so for me uh i think i wore like yeezys like two pairs of yeezys i wore some vans another day and my feet were still killing me with the yeezys on because it doesn't matter how comfortable the shoes are after you stand for that long like your feet are just done like it's over with so for me like that was one of the biggest drawbacks because there's like i said there was nowhere to sit there's a couple little spots but like all in all you're just standing or you got to sit on the grass or on the concrete so end of the day i was not expecting that 
And that's definitely something you want to remember if you're going to Rolling Loud. So next up, number three on this list of things that I dislike was the fact that it rained. Now, this isn't fault of Rolling Louds per se, but what I do blame them for is how they handled it when it rained. So weather was perfect, like all weekend, except for Saturday. And it rained, I wanna say like the first half of Rolling Loud, so maybe like the first like four hours. Um, but after that, it was cool. But the problem that I have with what happened is that when it rained, it was right before like everyone was like coming on stages. So the rain cancellation caused a lot of people to get pushed back because of the rain was like extending over their times. So instead of rolling loud, making an announcement or saying, hey, so-and-so went from four o'clock to five o'clock, it's like five o'clock, 5.30, and we're still waiting for like the first kind of wave of people who are supposed to be at four to come on. So all of a sudden, DMX just like hops out on stage. And we're like, what is going on? And it's because the fact that like, I think what they did was had people who were like available um, after the rain, whatever artist was ready, they're like, yo, you ready? Go up on stage. And so people were like confused because the person that was supposed to be down here is now up here. The person was supposed to be up here is down here. And they have like a whole like a list of stuff like this of like who's performing what time and stuff. And it was all out of whack. So I feel like they should have at least been courteous of us and said something or said, hey, so and so is performing later. Like they didn't do anything. And that was kind of what was stressful about when it rained because we we're trying to figure out if we should go see this person, if we should go see that person, and we just didn't know. So that was kind of something that was an issue for us um, when it rained, and I felt like they could have been more respectful of everyone there's time, basically. All right, so now for like the next like problem, thing that I didn't like about Rolling Loud was big artists, artists that you literally paid your money for to see, either A, canceling, or the B, just like showing up an hour late or an hour and a half late. Like, and just like I touched upon, no one at Rolling Loud, none of the executives, no one there in the staff released out any kind of update, any kind of anything to let us know, hey, um, Migos is gonna be an hour late. Hey, Cardi is gonna be an hour and a half late. No one said that. So we're literally standing at the stage at the time they're supposed to perform at, 30 minutes goes by. 45 minutes goes by and we're like, bro, like where is so-and-so? I mean, we found out that Kodak canceled off of Instagram because academics posted a photo of Kodak talking about he was in jail and this is 10 minutes before Kodak's supposed to come on. We're like, what? So all of this like miscommunication was like super frustrating because everyone's just standing around and like, what is going on? It's just silent. And meanwhile, we're at this stage waiting for this person when like, Someone else is over there performing that we want to go see. You know what I'm saying? Like Gunna's over there performing. We want to go see Gunna, and like that was really, really like disappointing because we waited to go see Travis Scott. He was almost two hours late when we could have seen Meek over there. So like that was kind of like frustrating and kind of like set the tone for how we felt when we left Rolling Loud. Like, all right, they're being disrespectful of like our time and not being considerate. So. That was another thing that I disliked about Rolling Loud. All right, so second to last thing I got is the fact that there was these like flash running mobs. So like I said earlier, like there was nowhere to sit. So me and the crew, like we're sitting down, right? Just like taking a break. And all of a sudden we just see like this wave of people just like running at us. And we're like, yo, what is going on? Like literally like from a scene from Lion King. running at us everyone's like getting up getting like getting trampled literally trying to like pick each other up and I remember like we're running like because they're running at us so we're running and I asked some girl I'm like hey like what are y'all running from and she's like I don't know I'm like bro like you don't know what you're running from like and that happened like three four times to the point where we literally got up from our place ran and then they come back and then like they run again and then like come back and like at this point we're like bro like it's time to go. 
this is late at night too and i'm just like what is going on i get texts from like my friends back home hey someone's like shooting at rolling loud and i'm like shooting like we didn't hear nothing we didn't see nothing all we see is just like people just running for no reason and when we do ask them they're like we don't know so that was like pretty annoying because you're trying to enjoy the show and then people were just like acting a fool. So, all right, last up, it's not even like that serious, but I kind of wanted to put this on the list because a lot of the girls that were on the trip with me uh, complained about this. And that was the fact that like the wristbands, hold on, got my wristbands somewhere. The wristbands, they're pretty cool actually. I'm not gonna lie. But the wristbands, when you put them on, like when they send you your wristband in the mail, when you put it on, they say, first of all, don't put it on till the weekend of the concert because of the fact that when you put it on, it doesn't come off. So you have to literally wear this thing for three days straight or however many days you bought your ticket for. And it doesn't come off. And then however much you tighten it, it stays, you can't loosen it. So, I mean, one of the people that was like, her wristband was like all the way like on her skin and like she couldn't take it off. And if you cut it and try to like put it in your pocket or whatever, like they won't let you in. You need to have the wristband on. That was another thing. I didn't really have to struggle with that because like I put it on and it was kind of loose and stuff like that. But that's something um, if you want to go to Rolling Loud, you should look forward to. All right, guys. So time for the fun part. My recommendations to you guys. Um, things that I either wish they do in the future or things that I did and I think you guys should also implement that I think like will help. For me, number one is go with a squad. Go with your friends, go with your girlfriend, go with your boyfriend, go with people, okay? Because it's not really about like what you're doing but the people that you're with. And even if you're doing something like super fun and you're with people that are, you know, moody or dragging their feet or complaining, it's not gonna make that fun trip as fun. Versus if you're doing something boring, but you're with hilarious people, it's gonna be a lit trip either way. So find that medium, find something like rolling loud and bring like your homies and people that you have a good time with. And bro, have fun. Like that's what we did. And like, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So definitely bring the squad, yeah. Number two is bring comfy shoes. I mean, that's kind of a given. You're gonna be walking all day for however many days you buy your ticket for. Um, I had Yeezys, like I said, like the Ultra Boost in them are super comfy. Um, but yeah, like after a couple hours, like it, it's done. I would also say don't bring your best shoes because they will get dirty. Just like this clip of my shoes, you know, here are my shoes getting dirty. Um, and I would say like, try to find a happy medium of comfy shoes. You don't have to go out and get brand new shoes, but definitely, get something that like your feet aren't gonna hate you for so that's another tip that I suggest all right so next up number three definitely bring a bunch of cash with wow I can't even speak definitely bring a bunch of cash with you just because of the fact that all the little kiosks all the food places all like the drink places they all accept cash okay no card they have ATMs like at when you first walk in so like rolling loud but they charge just like any other ATM um, so if you can get some cash beforehand maybe like 100 bucks or 200 bucks or i mean i don't know whatever you, you feel comfortable with carrying bring that um just because you're going to be spending cash for basically everything at Loud. all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the things that i liked things i disliked and my recommendations um for me personally would i go back to rolling loud that's a question that i've been asked a lot and i think i would but three days is a lot man i went for three days and basically by the third day with all that walking and after we went through like the rain and everything i was just like everyone was just like are we really like going <laughs> like we're day three because it was so much and it was migos it was travis scott and it was kid cuddy as three headliners for the three days i really only only wanted to see travis um no offense to like Migos or Kid Cudi because I listen to all of them, but the main person I want to see was Travis, you feel me? And so for me to go back, I would have to go, I would go for like one day or two days. Three days is a lot. And especially if it's not someone you really, really want to see. So next year, uh, depending on the lineup, I'll go, but I'll go for who I really want to see. And that'll be it that'll be that so but thank you guys again for watching the video if you learned something or this helped you out please hit that like button down there also while you're down there hit that subscribe button greatly appreciate it thanks for the love 
Thanks for checking out the video. This is your boy Prince Mason, and like always, I'll see y'all hey, in the next video. Peace. Oh, hey, thanks for watching. If you want to watch more videos, you can click on one of these two right here, and you can subscribe by clicking on my image.